next page uh, I've done another one of these uh, cutouts but it's more for uh, got more the film theme um, and on her little uh, on her lace head instead of using my glossy accent as a solid uh, over the solid area I've actually got it and I've squeezed it and made it lumpy so again I've got that tactile feel and just a, a little bit of a different look um, and those are the images in here I've used crackle accents on his hat again love to feel that make it look like it's an old leather hat reminds me of John Wayne but it's not supposed to be John Wayne I forget the name of that actor I should know because I watch so many old movies again more journaling spots more areas uh, making memory, memories trim along the edges here Tim Holtz lost and found paper I get quite sentimental about that paper I love it and we get to the last page and um, I've just played around here a bit again don't know what I'm going to do in here but I've got little bits and pieces and I'll put it probably change where I put things it's really hard to decorate the pages because I'm like everybody else I don't like to cover the beautiful pages um, the graphic 45 and Tim Holtz and making memories I hate to cover the, all those images I've also got other little um, well they're not little they're quite big these are the ones that fit into these areas so there's a big huge pocket right in the end of each of these pages and these can fit in if you've got precious photos this is the place to put them because and you can do all sorts of fancy cutouts with them and books with them because that's where they're going to be the most protected when you start to layer up these areas and decorate them I love 10 second studios metal and anybody that knows me knows I do so I have made um, a plate around with it and I've used one of their dies to do this and I've used glossy accents and images from the graphic 45 curtain call paper and alcohol inks and folders to add a little bits of embossing and little gems I just love playing with them their, their stuff so I've got always got to have a bit of metal in my albums and on the back done the same thing can call paper bit of metal bit of this and I can do what I like here I can put a photo I can tuck in uh, memorabilia from all the different shows and movies and things that I've enjoyed another one that I've done is this one and similar I've used the same die in this case just cut out bits of the paper to insert in there put some of the words in there um, I just enjoy it again we've got this place over here where I can choose to do whatever I like to do but I recommend that if you want to protect your photos you either have them inside here in a booklet or in here if you're like me and you like to decorate things up and use things like for instance I've got little tiny brads on the edge of here and um, they can cause bumps and lumps in your precious photos if you don't um, protect them oh, this is another one that was in there again I've used the tag um, film strip ribbon little frame feathers and you open it up and it's got actual places in here and what I've done is I've just shortened my tag for this because I'm, I probably want to use it in in, a, in an area where it's not going to be um, lot, it's going to be too long if I'd used a full size tag so that's the album this is the, the structure of it she's great with um, structuring her albums I've used leather and if I'd wanted you could just literally once you put the cover on this it's going to be an extremely stable album um, at the moment it's a bit wiggly a bit around I haven't even taken off my glue bits or anything it's very much a work in progress but you could leave it like this all you would have had to have done was to paint the edges of your paper bags because this is a paper bag album um, because that's quite it, it's nice looking with the cover on it you could leave that exposed if you wished um, put the covers and connect them I'm probably going to cover this right round and I'm probably going to use leather and I'm probably going to emboss it but I'm also going to use chipboard to cover it and stabilize it 
um, and make this really strong. My albums have to be strong. I come from a family that are not delicate little fairies. They love to pile through. I want to be able to give this to my my grandchildren and people who want to look at it and let them play uh, with it because that's the whole point that they should be able to handle it. It should be strong. And you can see here, this is peeling, but that's actually all these metal edged um, from Seven Gypsies actually have a covering on them when you get them. Don't forget to peel it off, otherwise it'll come off and get stuck. So I'll have to do that. Um, so the way you put it together is using, um, turn this around the right way, um, by covering the gussets. For instance, this is a gusset here, it'll be joined on to the actual cover. Um, but it, you can see that it's a paper bag in behind there that I have um, uh, just painted so that you just don't show. Uh, you need strong adhesive on there to make it, to attach it to your book. And you need to make sure that this is made out of a strong material. Now I'm going to be getting some of the DuPont, I think it's called Tyvek that um, Kathy Autumn mentions in her um, video on, on YouTube uh, because she actually made this album with paper and this is quite a substantial and mine's even bigger because she made it out of smaller bags than I did. I made it out of extremely strong bags. And it will fall apart with all once you get this embellished up and you start putting metal bits and things. So you really need something strong. Now I've used leather in this case because I like the strength of it, like um, the amount of, it's got lots of give, so I've made some slightly bigger than others because I've got an idea of what I'm going to do on those pages um, so that I can um, fit lots of things in. So I'm going to be getting the Tyvek, as I was saying, got a bit off the track there, and I'll have some available uh, because you have. To, I'm going to be buying it in sheets and you're really going to, to get the strength out of this, you really want some of this Tyvek material. It, it's what they use to make, um, I think she said they, they make um, postal envelopes out of it for really important documents, strong, but it takes ink. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to look forward to experimenting with that. Um, I'll put that aside for now. A couple of other things I've done on the album, but which um, this is also a little bit of fun. I've got to show you before where, um, I've actually got tags in here, but instead of just leaving them plain, um, you know, put a little thing on the back, put a little bit here so you can journal, so you can play with them and it just gives you more places and you can tuck it away. And you can even journal or put photos on these areas. But it, they're, they're so much fun. Um, this one I've left plain, so I've got a plan for that one. Um, and I think this one, yeah, it's another one, one of Tim Holtz stamps on it and some of its bits and pieces. But again, I've uh, put a place on there so I've got a place to hide things because people love looking through things and they love um, finding little goodies in your albums. So do it. Another thing that I really like to do on my albums, if I can find it in my little bits and pieces here, is it's really great to put a little book in there um, with um, a pen with it. So people who look, this is not about them having to comment on your album and say that, oh, it's great or whatever. What it is about is my, my mother is getting older and I just love having her even if it's just her name written there and, and the date and of the different things that she's seen and done and wants to put, if she wants to put things through my album, that's great. And same with other members of my family. And it's great for people to look back on. Um, it's neat if you've got a comment, say you've made a fairy album out of the same, out of, out of a similar way so that you can fit a book in it. Put a little pen in there with it and the children that, that, that play with your children can put their names in it and you remember I 
love looking back over things like that and i've just decorated this one get to get back on subject what it is actually one of the seven gypsies books but i've changed it up a bit i don't know whether you can actually see how i've changed it up but i actually waxed the front of it put it used one of tim Holtz's um texture fades and put the postcard one on here and i've actually put a little bit of to highlight the words i have put uh, a little bit of met metallic rub-ons on it because I wanted this to look um, like an even older book and I have put gold at the edges here very unevenly because I wanted it to look like it was a really old old book and I'm going to stamp and put things in here and also let other people do whatever they want to do um, by writing in it and it's got a little area here for uh, tags you can note here these are fabulous too these are seven gypsies tags and they come like I think it's in a pack of 20 all different images on there I've yet to color it all up but they can slip in there so you can have a lot of fun playing um, and making all these things um, I think that's about it if you've got any questions you'd like to ask me about any of the things I've shown you today you're most welcome if you want to get hold of some of the Tyvek because you want to make an album like this let me know um, I will be probably putting out some class kits not necessarily I'm going to do, be doing classes on the mini albums albums if anybody's in <laughs> in New Zealand and interested in doing that please let me know I'm in the um, Tauranga area so that's where I usually hold my classes and teach uh, do lessons and teach people how to do different things but I'm more than willing to help you if you have any questions there'll be photos at the end of this because I tend to use my hands a lot and wave them about and I usually wave them in front of what I'm trying to show you so there'll be a um some photos that Jason will take for me and put near the end nice to be back online again and talking to you all um, until next time